All right, guys. Well, it's Monday, so you know where I am. I'll give you two guesses. Uh, nope, nope, not the zoo. Uh, maybe an airport? Yeah, the airport, because that's what I do, especially on Mondays. So it's Super Guppy Week, and next week, uh, which is totally cool. And I'm bringing it all to you. Get ready for a week of Super Guppy Madness. Hello, 426, clear for takeoff, runway 11. It's El Paso. It's hot. Waiting on Uber. Nice of them to give me a nice shaded place to uh, to do it. All right, guys. So we're out here in El Paso, of course. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, you might see the uh, the super guppy sitting over here. Um, we're about ready to take it for an FCF. So uh, they changed the number three engine. Took off the 501D. Converted a Navy T56 off of a P3 for the water meth injection, ran it, rigged it, did everything they needed to do over the weekend. They actually did all the test runs on Sunday. So we can get to Houston tonight and over to Cape Canaveral at Kennedy Space Center on Wednesday. So, cut to taxi now. One hour later.
After a successful FCF, Old Girl was ready to take us to Houston and then on to Kennedy Space Center to complete the mission. What is up all you wonderful YouTube people? How are you guys doing? My name is Matt Smithers, and if you're new to the channel, this is Unusual Attitudes, the YouTube channel that puts you in the cockpit of some of the world's most unique aircraft. And speaking of unique aircraft, it is the one and only airworthy Super Guppy Transport in the entire world, right here in all of her wonderful glory. On this beautiful day in, I guess, Central Florida, we're at Kennedy Space Center today. And we have been all week. Are you getting sick yet? Are you? We've been out here all week, uh, and we've been doing what's called a GVT, a ground vibration test, uh, on the aircraft. You may have seen the video uh, where we loaded the uh, mass simulator into the guppy last March, or maybe it was February. I can't remember. I think it might have been February, actually. Uh, and if you haven't, I will link it right there, and you can go back and check that out. So we have the same article in the guppy right now. Your other left, Matt. Uh, we've got the same article in the aircraft right now. It weighs 50,000 pounds, 48,000 pounds, just shy of 50,000 pounds. Uh, it is in there to simulate the weight and the mass of the Orion crew service module and the utility service module that are now bolted together as one assembly that we're gonna move to Plumbrook, Ohio 
coming up in the next couple of months here pretty soon. The problem is the engineers were concerned about the uh, vibrations uh, that are in the transient loads that are induced by the guppy in flight and on landing and all those kind of things. So they had their CAD models um, put together of what they expected those vibrations to look like, but they didn't really know for sure what it was going to be. To get some actual readings uh, from that, instead of just going off of the models, um, we went ahead and put shakers on the aircraft and about a hundred accelerometers all over the airplane to measure how those vibrations propagate and move through the aircraft and uh, what those modes become or what they look like when they multiply into certain frequency ranges. Um, so that's what we've been out here doing all week. So now the engineers and the techs have gathered all that data and they're going to be pouring over that data for the next couple of days and really analyzing it to find out what that means in the real world and whether it's going to put primarily us or the aircraft in danger, or the space article in danger, as it's really expensive and unique, and there's only a couple of them. There's a test article, and then of course there's a real thing. So, um, and it's the, you know, it's the first of its kind, even though it's very similar to the Apollo capsule. This is the first Orion capsule. It is different, it's bigger, uh, and everything about it is different. And so it's all step by step, it's all testing to make sure everybody and everything is safe and stays safe. So. The next couple of videos about the guppy are going to be uh, about us doing that and uh, we're going to bring it right to you so you get to be kind of part of it and check it out. The other thing uh, that I'm working on right now is as I was kind of pouring over all of my older videos, uh, at no point during the time that I've had this channel up did I ever sit back and, and say like, hey this is me, this is who I am, this is what I've done and this is why I have this aviation YouTube channel and here's why you ought to be watching it. Uh, there hasn't been a focus as to this is what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish. So, uh, I'm going to be putting kind of a self-interview video together so I can talk about that and uh, how to get, you know, why you guys should be excited about this channel. Um, why I think you guys should be excited about this channel because it really brings a unique view um, of some really unique aircraft platforms. Um, most, you know, a whole bunch of which are, or several of them, which are uh, NASA assets uh, that most people otherwise wouldn't have access to seeing the behind the scenes and what we do. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy all these videos. And please, if you are enjoying these videos, uh, like the videos, please subscribe to them and share them with your friends. Um, it really makes a big difference. It, it will allow me to continue doing this so we can keep showing you these really cool videos. They're always different. The missions are always changing and you get to come along with us and kind of be part of the NASA crew with us. Um, I love doing the videos and I'm making them for you, not for me. I'm here working and, and flying on the airplane regardless of whether I'm doing the extra work of, of shooting video about all of it or not. I do it because I want to be able to bring you guys with us because I know there's interest in what we're doing. And uh, once the word gets out, then uh, you know I get to bring it to more people and bring it to everybody. But I'm relying on you guys to share these videos, share the channel, spread the word, and uh, you know let's get it. Let's uh, let's make this uh, make it for everybody. So thanks for being here. Catch you next time.